with Andy Richter. Andy, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. How are you? Great. So we're here celebrating and, and raising money for um, education, in, uh, music and education. Mm -hmm. um, for you, I mean, you're part of a, a, an amazing show with Conan that brings music into variety and entertainment and everything. What's, how important is music in your life and your views on music and education in the school system? Uh, it's very, it's very important. Um, I, I'm not a musician myself, and um, I don't know a lot of kind of music theory. Like I can kind of. BS my way through a song, singing it, if I kind of imitate one singer or another. But if somebody ever says, like, let's change key, I don't know what they're talking about. But uh, my kids uh, my kids are musical, but my, my son plays guitar and, and a little bit of piano, and my daughter plays piano and accordion, and um, she's probably the most musical, like, she actually just kind of plays for enjoyment, which... Uh, that was the thing I could never, I could never get to. It was always it's practicing was always yeah, too I'm much. Not a musician either. I was it was too much work. It was too much drudgery. And I, I mean, I wish I had stuck to it. But that's you know when you're a kid, yeah. you're you <laughs> you're, you do what you want. Right. Um, but it, you know, but our house is full of music. Uh, we, you know, we our kids. Uh, I'm our, I'm amazed. Uh, how many oldies my kids know? I mean, That's how? Good. Yeah, what a what a what a wide breadth of, of musical knowledge my kids have just right. kind of by osmosis. We're not those parents that sort of insist that they you know listen to a certain <laughs> quality of music. They can listen to whatever garbage they want to, <laughs> but um, but they you know we play music all the time, so they get to hear right. a lot of different stuff and. Um, and it's always, I've always been a big fan of music and it's always been an important part of my life and I've always kind of been uh, interested in music. As I get old, you know, as you get older, it's kind of harder to right. stay abreast of, of what's happening in the music yeah. world. And, you know, I'm, I'm lucky to know about, you know, two or three new <laughs> bands and even then, when I mention them to my kids, they're like, "Oh, those are—they're already old." So, um, but no, it's great. And and working where I do too, I get to see a lot of great music, and right. I get to be exposed to a lot of great music. And I, um, and it's an easy way to get to, you know, go to see concerts and stuff. It's right. always a nice, you know, it's always a nice way to, to you know, people people are happy to, you know, like to people in bands that I like are happy to meet the guy from the Conan O'Brien show, so it's, right, it's right. one of those kind of fringe benefits. Yeah, but you also work with one of the amazing bands in Late Night and yeah. Jimmy Vivino and the guys, I mean, for so those many years. Those guys are incredible. So they're what's incredible. it like being on the outside as a non-musician, seeing them work, and I mean, they work so, they're just like a one big unison like team, and they work like instantly, they can yeah, pick yeah. something up. What's it like, I mean, have you been almost desensitized to it after all these years, or uh, are they still amazing? No, you? It's, pretty ama <laughs> yeah. it's pretty amazing. I they. Um, it's it it seems like there's like less kind of just throwing musical things at it, at them that there than there used to be because we used to I think our show you know many years ago probably had much more kind of like many more absurdist kind of sketch elements to right. it than it does now um, you know the show's just kind of become more naturalistic yeah, it's kind of more sure. just like us existing in in the stage because yeah. we're old we don't want to work that hard anymore <laughs> um, but no they still they still pretty much can pick up any style of music and amazing. pick up any you know it's it's really something to see it's really right. impressive and it's amazing when La Bamba opens his mouth and he's like a silent film star on your guys show but when he opens his mouth he can sing yeah yeah <laughs> yeah he's got a beautiful voice uh, all well, those guys it's all of them They're like Every every one of our horn players is an amazing singer. Yeah, you know? they're amazing. Yeah, and uh, they play around their shows all the time. I see them; they're on Facebook posting like, "Oh, we're playing yeah, at yeah. The, the lounge in Studio City and stuff." I've been at I've been at weddings <laughs> they play, and what's really <laughs> funny is uh, because they all were, you know, East Coast yeah. union musicians, uh, like Jerry Vivino, our saxophone player, knows all the Hebrew wedding songs and all the bar mitzvah songs. So I've seen him play at a couple Jewish weddings and he he sings, you know, right. he sings the Hora and, yeah. uh, you know, he knows all the words of those because it's just, that's what you got to do if you're going to be, right. you know, yeah, and I think, you know, and these guys, I think, uh, you know, 
Jerry just was out in the desert backing up. Uh, I can't even, it was like he was backing up like Johnny Mathis, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Andy, thank you so much for spending a little time with us tonight. It was such a great time to chat and, uh, and thanks for hosting such an amazing event tonight. Oh, thank you so much. I'm happy to do it.